one can't really avoid the screen time. Uh, you know, kids, all kids are watching some kind of entertainment. But, um, and um, unfortunately, the, the girl who was uh, working for us and who would, uh, you know, uh, attend to him part-time, uh, his nanny, and she, you know, ended up teaching him when he was just one year old, which we got to know much later. So basically, uh, you know, how nannies do they, they want to get free of, because uh, kids take an hour to eat food and they have their toddlers do have a short, uh, you know, span of memory and they, one tends to, uh, you know, get, they get tantrums and they, uh, especially when you know they're alone and they don't have friends and you know siblings so um the irritation levels also get high um you know they don't want to eat food and it becomes a real um, like i said you know he got the habit at a very young age uh by my ex-worker to show television while eating food or showing you know hiding and showing her mobile so that they get free fast like if I had to feed my child uh, without any distraction or entertainment, uh, it would take one hour. I mean, most mothers it takes almost an hour for them to actually finish one paratha. So, um, you know, and then uh, at, at the age of one, when um, he was introduced to uh, television or mobiles or screen as they call it, now it became a challenge because now he wouldn't eat without, uh, you know, having a, any kind of television in front of him or any kind of show. So we, I had to work on a plan because getting him away from screen would actually increase his agitation and various other things. Um, so now it became a habit. And now how do I, as a mother, make that habit um, a positive, uh, constructive way? So I used screen um, for uh, certain hours or certain uh, minutes of the day um, spreading over his meal time uh, so that he um, sees shows which, uh, so compared to his age, he's uh, talking, forming sentences, which uh, some kids of his age have still not started. But of course, no kids are uh, alike. Each child has his own milestone and his own uh, time to learn and grasp. Uh, being a highly premature baby, he's doing fairly well for himself. And uh, also, I would credit screen to some extent because what I show him is important. Um, so I show him educative stuff. Uh, there are a couple of shows and a uh, lot many uh, shows on television where um, or on YouTube where you can actually enhance their, uh, you know, colors and uh, identify alphabets and uh, nursery rhymes and uh, animals, um, you know, show him the zoo or uh, discovery channel, show him, you know, which animal, uh, their names, uh, you know, forming sentences. So there is a show called Lippy, um, which he watches, he's addicted to. But thanks to that show, his, uh, his vocabulary, his grammar, his way of talking, him identifying, uh, you know, uh, various objects, and saying sentences properly without uh, any, uh, you know, break and, you know, uh, connecting, understanding what are animals, understanding plants, understanding flowers. He knows every flower. He knows the name of every animal. He knows all his alphabets very well. He knows the numbers very well. He knows colors very well. So these are the things instead of a school um, where he would anyway be taught all these things. Uh, I use this time and his screen time to show him those kind of things. Of course, he's very, very, he's extremely obsessed with animals and uh, uh, particularly dinosaurs. I don't I have to get him off this dinosaur booth that he has, but he wants to see dinosaurs every day and what they do, how they eat, how they move. So it, it, it's a scary thing. I get scared, you know, looking at those huge dinosaurs, but he, he's not. He meets animals on the road and whether it's a rabbit, cat, dog, mouse, uh, parrot, whatever. He just is, uh, you know, very, very friendly when it comes to animals, which is also a good thing. And uh, so this is my way of engaging him in the right 
uh, way but keeping screen also um, because when kids are doing online school which they have done for the past so many months or maybe two years now or at least a year for sure that is also screen right and that's they're spending a lot of time on screen and doing their studies so um, he's not still in that study zone or the study age or or online stage age i'm glad that schools are starting so he will not have to be an online child and he's going to be an offline child uh, but yeah i have uh, engaged him in he is not a arts and craft kind of guy i have realized that he's not a painting kind of guy he loves music he loves dancing he loves songs he loves um, uh animals he loves uh, you know uh, nature he loves uh, anything to do with uh, plants and so he's more of that kind of a person and uh, yeah i'm glad that there are uh, certain positives for screen but of course it should be restricted to certain uh, hours of the day